Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us uh, continue studying the case of Allah. Before we start, you need to notice that sometimes people, they come in the chat, and they use names which are supposedly not Muslim names, but in fact, they are Muslims, and they try to make us, we as a Christians, attack each other and speak against each other in, our, in, in the back of each other. So always be aware, and don't be stupid, and don't make them fool you the one who said to me why you don't uh, debate uh, James White I say to you I have nothing to de debate with James White at the end of the day he is a uh, you know he's wrong about Islam but he is still as long as he believe in Jesus as God as Savior I have nothing to debate about except if you want to talk about Islam then we can however don't play the game of divide and conquer because that will not work especially with me I go and I speak against anyone speak wrong but doesn't mean I am against James White as a person I don't know him and at the end of the day he is a person he believe in Christ as Savior he believe in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit he believe in all things we as a Christians we believe so at the end of the day he is my brother in Christ so don't play this game and try to you know to come like oh, well, you you know what about you who bring me Muslim why why you are worried about James White is that your worry now James White you as a Muslim what James White always they try to divert your attention from the real issue that is the whole story. Look, in the front of us, we have people touching rocks, putting their hands in a wall, covered by a skirt. And this is a holy house of Allah. We have a religion who believe that God have a house and the black stone his right hand and the black stone is in the shape of a private part. Any are worried about James White? What about you Muslims you call me and tell me who is Allah it's a question we keep asking not a single Muslim can just answer a very simple thing I mean name when one thing for you know for Muslims they have answer for it they don't know they have no idea And be aware when Muslim they say revert. Revert is a word to fool you. Only foolish people they accept when somebody says I'm a revert. Revert is somebody changing sect between sect in one belief. So Muslim they try to fool you, say he is revert. Well, you are not revert. You converted to a satanic demonic cult. Revert if we have the same God. Do the Christians and the Muslims have the same God? No. Somebody will say to you, Arab Christian, they use the word Allah. Yes, they use the word Allah, but they don't talk about the God of Islam, and they use it because they are under the occupation of Muslims for 1,400 years. Our God is a spirit, your God is not. As simple as that. I mean, I do not need to go on the details of the Trinity. No need, that's it. Your God is not a spirit and he has no spirit. My God is a spirit. So how we can have one God? Not to forget to mention that your God have a very bad ethic. Your God is a criminal. Your God is crazy. Your God is a stupid. And we can prove it right now, right here. So to say I reverted then you have to say you have to prove to me that your God is the same as my God your God heaven have porn station it's a big house of porn naked women there's nothing there except boom boom my God don't have that so if we have the same God we have the shouldn't we have the same heaven if we have the same God then our God should promise us boom boom too your God is the God of the boom boom as a brother David Wood, he called it the boom boom room. 
So what do you mean we have the same God? We don't. I'm going to open my Skype so we can start studying and all Muslims are welcome. And by the way, I'm not being rude. I mean, just I'm asking questions and um, I'm stating facts. I mean, uh, am I lying that if I say that you're in your, in your heaven, there's nothing but boom, boom. In your heaven, there's nothing but wine, bed, boys, 80,000 boys, a slave, a slave for each one of you, and a lot of women for boom, boom. Th that's the truth. Whatever you want to say about your God, this is disgusting. What kind of God, in order to make one person happy, he will enslave 80,000 child? And he will make a lot of women just for boom, boom. Is that God really? Who is a Muslim when I call us? My, my Skype is open and I will be happy to take your call. Now, if we go to Islamic uh, 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 website, uh, Islamic website, uh, to try to understand how the Muslim they present their God, you will die laughing. You read an article for written like, it, it took the guy maybe 20 hours to write the articles. After reading the article, which took them 20 hours, you will find that he told you nothing. All what he said to you, my God is God. Some biggest misconception to many non-Muslims have about Islam have to do with the word Allah. For various reasons, many, many people have come with belief that the Christian worship different God than the Christians and the Jews. This is totally false. We can prove it. Can you prove it? Who is a Muslim when to prove to me that the God of the Christians is the same as the God of Islam? How you can prove that? Your God is a leg. My God is not. Your God is a physical being. My God is a spirit, a physical being. He can be whatever he wish. And he is not as the Quran described. So he came as a physical being in the flesh of Jesus. In the same time, he is a spirit. But your God, Allah, is not, he is not a man like Jesus. And he is not a spirit like the Holy Spirit. So what he is, he is a physical being only. He is a leg. So the nature of your God is not the same nature of my God. The physique, if your God is funny, you Muslims, you believe that you have a God, have five fingers, have a foot, have a shin, uh, have a, have two eyes, have two hands, but yet you say, we don't know how he look like. Okay. Do he have a spirit? No, he have no spirit. But this is totally, you see, even like if you, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some Muslim, they will say to you, oh, in the Old Testament, there's no trinity. My friend, don't mention the Trinity right now. In the first chapter, the book of Genesis, verse number two, number two, num number three, number four, you will see that the Bible says, God is speaking, saying that God's spirit was above the water, the spirit of God. So our God is a spirit, our God is not. That's it, it's over. So in the book of the Jews, which is our book, in the book of the Christian, which is the, the, the Gospels, our God is a spirit and your God is not your God he encouraged child molestation your God he encouraged rape your God encouraged a theft your God God is never approve a miracle your God is say stupid things so which who is your God anyone Any Muslim?
So all this noise, look at this article, how funny it is. Okay, look what they say here. For example, Muslim like Jews reject the Christian beliefs of the Trinity and the divine incarnation. That's false. The Jews don't re reject the divine incarnation, you idiot. Isn't it the Old Testament says that God, he came to Abraham as a man? <clears throat> so what are you talking about? So look, they make articles and supposedly this is made by somebody he is, he knew what he's talking about. But in two seconds, you will find that this guy is a professional idiot. He do not know what the Jews believe. He do not know what the Christian believe. And as long as you don't believe in divine incarnation, so how your God Allah became a tree in the Quran? Isn't it your God Allah, he spoke to Moses from the tree and he was a burning bushes? He was a tree or he was a fire? It doesn't matter. If we go in the Quran, <coughs> and there is many verses in the Quran about uh, the, the incarnation of Allah. This is your book, not my book. Chapter 28, verse number 30. The story of Moses, which is a story from the Bible, which is written in a very funny wrong way. And when he reach, reach it, reach what? the right bank of the valley okay <clears throat> he was called from the right side of the valley in the blessed field from the tree if this is not incarnation this is what this is what exactly who was in the tree if you say to me Allah was in the tree that is really I mean so what is Allah is a monkey now what or he is God or what so either you say to me that God literally was exist there or you explain to me maybe he was hanging on the tree because it says he spoke from the tree muhammad qasim saying i am lied and said god in the tree guys does it say in the front of you here we go he was called from the right side of the valley in the blessed flea a field from the tree so he was called from where from the tree what the tree voice says oh Moses Lu I am I even I I, I am Allah the Lord of the world the voice came from from where from the tree not from the bushes the tree itself is talking so according to the Quran, your God Allah is the same as a magical tree we see in Disneyland. Not from the bushes, this is a tree. And you are saying to me, I'm lying, Mr. Qasim? How you say that? Isn't it, this is your translation? I am willing to change the translation for you, Mr. Qasim. What translation do you like? Huh? What translation you like? Give me the translation you like and I will show it. Which one? In Arabic, there's many words for God. There's Rab, there is Ilah, there is there's tons of words. But Allah is not one word Allah is two words a l is a word meaning God la is the name of the God it's not a word meaning God so why you are saying I'm lying I said Allah is from the tree with the tree spoke the tree spoke and said I am Allah I will change the translation. Maybe this translation is not fair. Remember, this is your Muslim translation. This is Muhammad Biktal. Let us change to different idiot. Which one you want? Give me the name. Halili and Khan. There you go. This is Khan. All of them, they are Muslims. Hmm. 
he was called from the right side of the valley in the blessed place from the tree from where from the tree and what the tree said oh Moses I am Allah hello you don't like to just translation we can change it for you you see it's not a voice just coming from the direction of the tree that the voice is coming from the tree and what the voice of the tree said oh I am Allah and just to show you that it's very possible that Allah is a tree how we know that if we go in the Quran Allah he says he is the same as a tree which is not uh, and uh, have a uh, have a fire in it and it light from olive tree uh, olive tree, tree oil read with me <clears throat> uh, you know the Muslims they don't know what uh, what their God uh, is saying about himself is that the Quran or I'm making things up Allah the light of the heaven and the earth the parable of his light as there were a niche and within within it a lamp and the lamp is in a glass and the glass as it is where a brilliant star light from plus tree here we go where the light of Allah came in from from a tree where Allah spoke from from a tree so you Muslims you should have a Christmas tree call it Allah And in the Christmas tree of Allah, you call it Allah tree and you hang like toys. Look in the shape of the shin of Allah and make light in it. And then now, zero Muslim want to call us and tell us who is Allah. And not only that, the disaster is even getting bigger. When Allah he says blessed is the one who is in the fire and the one who is around the fire who is a Muslim can tell me who is in the fire and the one around the fire when he came to it which means Moses he was called Blessed is who is ever in the fire and who is ever is around it. Okay, Muslims, who is the one blessed who is in the fire? Any Muslim? You see, you Muslim, you say you don't believe in carnation. It looks like you Muslims are Zeradisht who worship the fire, maybe. Because it says a blessed is the one who is in the fire and the one who is around the fire. So what we have here, we have an act of worship of God who is inside the fire, burning fire. You see, remember this story is coming from the Bible, but the Muhammad, he played with it. And by playing with it, it became as a, like a Zeradisha story. So now we have God who is a blessed. And where is this God? He is inside the fire. And who is around the fire? Hmm. I'm just trying to understand, you know, what Muslim want to say to me. Any Muslim? Look like Muhammad Qasim, he went in a mute now. He don't want to talk no more. Uh, look what uh, Muhammad Qasim, he said. Seem like Moses' family from the context, the Arabian prophet. No, my friend, Moses, he left his family far away. And he came to check the fire. So he did not go back yet to see his family with the fire. He saw fire away and he says to his people, stay there. I'm going to come back to you. 
the problem that you Muslims you are the same as your prophet you do not know how to read you do not know how to write and you cannot understand two line together here we go the story in front of you remember when Musa said to his household his family verily I have seen the fire I will bring you uh, some uh, information which is funny translation by the way I mean I will give you some information I will give you some uh, you know they want fire or maybe they want to see who is there I will bring it to you a burning brand hmm. so he did not take them with him so who is the one was in the fire and who is the one around the fire still no answer so you are just guessing yeah I look at the verse before it this is why I got you busted you see the funny he's saying to me look at the verse before it I just did and I got you busted Abdul his family they are not around the fire yet because he says I will bring you a branch from it but since he went he did not came and after he went there Allah spoke to him he did not go back to his family yet <laughs> what a bunch of kids like can we find a smart Muslim who knows what is written in his Quran he saw the fire from far away he said to his family hey stay here I will go and bring you some of news or some branch from it look like Musa's do not know how to make fire he, he should watch some uh, videos in YouTube about uh, 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 witchcraft how to make fire okay and he went there and then by going there Allah starts spoken to him you see when he arrived to the fire what he what what we hear and here by the way you will notice the story is different from the other story I mean Muhammad he cannot even maintain the story look this is the same story supposedly but this is in chapter 28 in chapter 828 it says Moses he went with his family they are traveling he saw a fire in the direction and he said to his family wait I, I seen I have seen a fire maybe I can bring you from it there uh, some information or some burning brand from uh, like a, a branch from it when he arrived there here you see he arrived to the right hand of the valley for sure Allah will be in the right hand not in the left <laughs> and then in a blessing in a blessed place of the tree a voice came from the tree and he said to him verily I am Allah the Lord of the world but look at the story here the story is different when he came to the fire not to the tree here there's no tree anyone see the word the tree here anyone see in the story the word the tree here what happened to the tree? Any Muslim can tell us? What happened to the tree? There's no tree. How come in that story there, there is a tree, and in the other story here, there's no tree? Sheikh Rohi, how are you? Talk, talk to you from Paltok? Well, uh, Sheikh Rohi, he have no answer too. I mean, he's a Sheikh or not, he have no answer. You want a bet? Nothing will change. None of them have an answer. The Sheikh is the same as the one who have no, you know, information. Okay, I'm going to Paltok, Sheikh Rohi. <coughs> Let us see. <coughs> well, I don't see you. Text me, Sheikh Rohi, if you are live in Paltok, so I can take your call. All right. Let us uh, talk to uh, Dr. Sheikh Rohi and see if he can answer us. And I assure you, he have no idea.
السلام عليكم عليكم السلام شيخ روحي how are you كيف حالك my friend everything is fine how are you I'm alright thank you okay, Lord for sure everything so شيخ روحي you heard what we are talking about the tree story who was who was in the tree Uh, thank you, my friend. Uh, God said, God said in the, in the Holy Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فلما آتاها نودي من شاطئ الوادي الأيمن في البقعة المباركة من الشجرة أي موسى إني أنا الله رب العالمين so translation uh, but when he came to uh, to it he was called from the, uh, the right side of the valley and uh, in a placed spot from the tree of moses indeed i am allah lord of the words hmm. uh, it was supposed modern technology help you to understand how moses heard voices from the tree now if the if uh, the phone rang and you are you ask who are you the speaker said i am your father or i am your friend does mm. this mean that the speaker inside the, the telephone mm. or is that uh, mean you have is the true voice of your father also this was mm -hmm. no this was uh, uh, a sign or a prophecy that one day the solid body will speak such as we see uh, in the phone and the mobile and the recorder and we will hear from the wood and the plastic and iron uh, voices like people's voice mm. this not a voice of God mm -hmm. uh, this not voice of God that Moses heard from the tree he did not hear the this voice of the, God. He heard the voice of whom? This voice uh, was created by God uh -huh. uh, to understand. Oh, okay. But look, the voice saying, I am your Lord, Allah. So the voice saying, I am Allah, but this is not the voice of Allah? No, no. Now when uh, telephone rang and uh, uh -huh. you see who the speaker who got I am your father is it is this your father in the, in the phone? Yes. No, it is uh, If my voice, father is calling me, created. this is my father calling me So the one is talking is my father. So you are saying to me that Allah became the phone now So the voice is coming from the phone is the phone voice and Allah he made the phone talk saying I am Allah are you saying that Allah he made the tree talk saying I am Allah yes uh, God spoke to human in language because a human can only understand by this way but okay, this so, is not the words of God okay hold because on. God so, is so you are saying like to a me human now, in his words Sheikh Rahi, you are saying to me that your God he did not really speak to Moses it was a tree No, uh, it is not voice of God. It is not. Uh, it doesn't matter. God's that's it. That's, that's me and the one who spoke to Moses, according to you, Muslims. It was the tree, not Allah. Allah, He made the tree no, no. speak in the language of Moses. This is what you said to me a second ago. You said Allah, yes, He made. Yes. Okay. So the one who spoke to Moses was the tree, not Allah. Correct. This voice created by God. But it doesn't matter. God's okay, voice. Allah, He hit the tree by maybe He make the tree like a drum. He make boom, 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 and the tree spoke. Now, that's mean the one who spoke to Moses is the tree, not Allah. That's what yes. you're saying. Okay, but yes. uh, as long as you agree, then that's mean the whole story in the Quran is fabrication because how the tree says, "Oh, I am Allah," but the one is talking is not the voice of Allah. God must uh, create voice because the man and Moses and me and you not uh, understand Ill, uh, unless by voice mm -hmm. we understand by this okay, word let me ask you by, by this so way when Allah he spoke in Arabic 
they he spoke the Quran in Arabic or he made a, a, a phone speak in Arabic or a tree speak in Arabic who is the one who gave the Quran in Arabic is it Allah speaking in Arabic or the voice was a voice of somebody else too Uh, God not to speak in the uh, Quran in Arabic by voice you hear it. this is a message no, by no, Jibreel, no, 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 no. Okay, by Jib Gabriel. okay, Jibreel, 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 he got the message from where? From God. Okay, how Allah gave from, him the message? But we don't know. What do you mean you don't we know? We don't know how, we don't know. How uh, tell Jibril this message? Okay, hold on. So you uh, say you say you don't not know say, how Jibril gave. Hadith not say. Hold on. You say Jibril, you do not know about how Jibril got the message, but you know for sure that the one who spoke there in the tree is not Allah. How you know that? If the tree, like who told you that? Did Allah says to you, "I created a voice, and this is not my voice, and this is the tree I made it speak." I mean, where do you get this from? So look what you do you fabricate your own meaning Because that proved that Islam believing in the incarnation of God in order to to get away from the incarnation But nowhere in the verse it says what you said Can you show me a hadith where Allah is or what your prophet said that Allah he created a voice in the tree or this is uh, the fantasy of dr. Rohi no, no, scholars said God has no ear as my friend, our ears. My friend, what do you mean God has no, has no ear? Hold on, hold on. Eyes. No, God has, has ears. Here we go. If we go in the hadith, your God, he says, that he come down every third part of the night and he ask, who is, uh, who is uh, uh, supplicating to me so I can listen to him? What are you talking about? Do Allah hear you? Isn't it one of the names of Allah is as Sami'u al-Alim? What does Sami'a mean? Uh, God, uh, this is knowledge of God. No, no, what does Samia? No, 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 as Samia or Alim, not knowledge of Allah. What does Samia mean? As Samia, that he hearing every uh, everything. Okay, so he hearing. Okay, so he hear. So don't tell me, don't tell me he don't hear. You know, he hear and he have earing and here by the way he have ears. Look at this hadith here. When Allah he come every day in the in the third part of the night. He come and he says, hey Muslims, who supplicate to me? So I may answer him, do Allah hear if he was in the tree or he need to come down to Moses or he was in heaven still he can hear Moses. Where is the location Allah he can hear Moses if, if Moses spoke? Uh, uh. This metaphor to understand how God uh, know everything. And not God, uh, he come down and uh, God, he everywhere, every place God is exist. That's not true. Muslim so God, that. I never heard of a Muslim believe that uh, Allah is exist everywhere. What kind of a sheikh you are? And secondly, when you say to me, this is a metaphor, where you get this from? Did your prophet say this is a metaphor? Did he say this is a parable? Our Lord, the blessed and the exalted descended every night at, to the lowest heaven. When one of the third later part of so he he tell us what what part of the night he told us a location which is the lowest heaven and nowhere here it says that this is a metaphorical so where do you get this from uh, because the people don't understand uh, unless in this way Prophet what do you mean Muhammad hold on, hold on, hold on. Want to if you pray if you pray what what is the point of this if you pray to Allah and Allah he listen to you why Muhammad saying that Allah come down in the third part of the night what is the point of coming down if he can hear you anywhere he is you, you just told me Allah is everywhere which is not what the Muslim believe so if you can be heard everywhere whatever Allah is he can hear you so why Muhammad saying he is coming to the lowest heaven so are you saying your prophet he was he was fabricating things not true that Allah never come down to the lowest heaven this is a fabrication no God forbid this is the uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam want to tell us this uh, there is a time a blessing time hmm. in this uh, time there is uh, your uh, spirit your soil 
ويل بي يعني ان بيور ان بيور كيس this uh, this in this time when god uh, in the last night the the spirit our spirit our soil uh, will be in the pure nice so we can uh, uh, in this time my friend so what, god, the point, uh, what the point of the location then? hear us i understand but you're a prophet he says our god he descend so you see your prophet he can say and there's no need to say he descend he can say pray at whatever time and allah will hear you but look what he's saying he is giving us a time where allah come down and he is giving us a location where he come down so when you say it's a metaphorical that is not true do you have a proof that this is metaphorical no it's your own uh, you know explanation because this is a problem because Allah obviously is taking incarnation by the way the Rahi isn't it Allah a physical being he is right uh, God said what God said in the Quran this is not the question uh, I'm asking you a similar question is Allah a physical being either you say yes or you say no and then, yes, you, can, yes. and then you can tell me the rest uh, repeat uh, please is Allah is a physical being no 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 he is not a you are the first muslim ever you you claim to be sunni right aren't you sunni yes okay i never heard of a yes, sunni sure. who is a sheikh from another university you don't believe that allah is a physical being <clears throat> since when isn't it allah he no, said well, that? okay when allah in the quran he says he have hands are these those are real hands or they are metaphorical hands not real hands. Not real not hands. Real that's hands. mean you are not a Muslim Sunni. Yes. You are not a Muslim Sunni. The yes. Muslim Sunni, they believe Allah have a hand. No, no, I am. All Muslim Sunni believe in that no. Allah have a shin, Allah have a foot. No, when uh, Allah is have a shin and have a foot. W when? Well, isn't it Allah in the Quran, he says, وَيَكْشِفُ ansaq He is going to show his shin? No. What do you mean, no? What? Sheikh okay. Rohi. What mean? Uh, yes. This is the verse in the front of you. And Allah, He is going to show His shin. And your God, Muhammad, I, uh, your God Muhammad, He said about His Prophet Allah that Allah will come in the last day. And He, they said to Him, Are we going to see Him? He said, Yes. They said, uh, uh, Muhammad, He says, are you going to be bothered to see the sun in a clear day? They said no. He said, "Are you going to be bothered to see the sun, the, the moon in a in a clear day?" They said no. He said, "And this is exactly how you see Allah." And then they said, "How we will recognize Allah?" He said, "From his shin, Allah will show his shin." So they are talking about seeing Allah. What they will see from Allah? They will see his shin. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, God said in the Quran, "Yawma yukshaf an saq, yawma yukshaf an saq, wa yadawna ila sujud fi la yastabiyun." Translation: uh, On the day when there shall be uh, a severe affliction, and they shall be called upon to make uh, what affliction? What, what, is the, what, what is the what is the shin? What happened to the shin? The shin is gone. This is a translation of this. Uh, this, this is a translation, this translation of Shekhar. This is a translation is a potato. You are you speak Arabic. You do not need this translation. What is the word shin? You are reading for me translation of Shakir. Okay, I'm asking you, why Shakir he took the word shin? Do do we have the word shin there, or I'm, I'm making it up? So there is a word there. It says oh. it says shin. Why in the translation of Shakir there's no shin? What happened to the shin? He ate it. Oh, كشف الساق كشف الساق. You uh, you said that you Arabic man. كشف الساق Arabic Edom uh, implies uh, befalling of affliction. Mm. Abdullah ibn Abbas uh, given this mm. me same meaning of this and said okay. uh, and uh, suppose uh, and supported it by evidence from Arabic poetry. Let us support from Arabic. My friend, here we go. قال أخذ رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بعضلة ساقي أو ساقه. What the word ساق here? 
shin. And let us go to the to the hadith we're speaking about the shin of Allah, shall we? Because Muhammad he spoke about Allah, and he said that this is a real shin. It's a leg, and because this is how they will recognize him, because the whole hadith is speaking about seeing Allah, seeing him. Literally. Here we go. We go here. <clears throat> Let us see this hadith here. Um. Okay. Do you see this hadith, uh, Sheikh Rohi, in the in the screen? On the day when the shank would be uncovered. Do you see it? I am not in uh, YouTube now. Hadith number Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2940. If we go up, yes. the whole hadith here, the whole topic is about what? Is about seeing Allah. You will see Allah. Let us see the hadith. If this one is not enough for you, Sahih al-Bukhari. There is many hadith. Let us take one of them. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Some people said, Oh Allah Messenger, shall we see Allah our Lord? In the day of resurrection, he said, Do you uh, crowd and squeeze each other to looking at the sun, blah, 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 blah. So it's easy to see Allah. And the whole question about what? Seeing Allah. Not seeing something Allah will do. Seeing Allah. There's a huge difference between something Allah will do and seeing Allah. Do you agree? Shaykh no. Rami, uh, what do you mean no? What yes. do you mean no? Look, look, look what the hadith says. Are we going to see our Lord? Correct? So what we will see, yes. we will see our Lord, not something the Lord will do. We will see our Lord. So if the Lord will do something, this is not what they are asking for. They are asking, are we going to see our Lord? Do you agree? No. What no, do you mean now? He, uh, the not see, not see our Lord. No, it says because, that. It uh, says that. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. Here we go. I will give it to you in Arabic. I will give you the link. Don't tell me not see our Lord. It says that. Everybody who is listening to the screen, you know, watching the screen, he can see that this is what it says, even in your Islamic fast translation. Are we going? Shall Let we see our that. Lord? Shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? So they will see the Lord, not something the Lord will do. They will see the Lord. And then when he said to them, Allah will come to you in shape different from the shape that one you know. And then they said to them, how we recognize him? He says from his shin, recognize him, seeing him, not seeing something he will do. So if somebody you know, says, are we going to see Christian Prince? And then you say to me, Oh, Christian Prince, he is going to uh, play drum, so you will hear his music. This is not a Christian Prince, because I'm not the music. But the question was, are we going to see our Lord? Yes, uh, it is a wrong translation. Ah, wrong, tra translation. wrong translation. Sheikh Rohi, well, who need a translation? Here we go. The hadith in the front of you in Arabic, you translate for us. I'm listening. Go ahead. Yes, the hadith said, hadith said, يأتيهم بعض ملائكة الله No, the hadith doesn't say that. No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Ya Sheikh, it doesn't say that. Read with me. And Abu Huraira, قال, قال أناس يا رسول الله, هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة? فقال, 
هل تضارون في الشمس ليس دونها سحاب قالوا لا يا رسول الله so what are you talking about this wrong hadith it's in, it's in front of you it says يا رسول الله هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة not the angels will come what are you talking about read it read it again read it. Uh, said yes 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 so I am right okay. I'm right okay yes yes okay الحديث يقول هل تضرون في الشمس ليس دونها سحاب قالوا لا يا رسول الله هل تضرون في القمر البدر ليس دونه سحاب why you skip the part where it says هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة I want you to translate that part please why you skip that part okay عن أبي هريرة قال أناس يا رسول الله هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة فقال هل تضرون في الشمس ليس دونها سحاب قالوا لا يا رسول الله قال هل تضرون في القمر ليلة البدر ليس دونه سحاب قالوا لا يا رسول الله قال فإنكم ترونه يوم القيامة كذلك إذا نحن نرى الله عن بعد عن Guys, translate. Look, look, look okay. how Sheikh Rohi now, he, start, he, he will change his statement. One billion degree. A second ago, he was saying, no, we will not see Allah. A second ago, he was saying, there is no word it says that. And now I just made him read it saying, you will see Allah. And yes, you will see him with your own eyes. Go ahead, translate. Okay, translate. Sawani. Uh, what? Translate. <coughs> I want to so on so on. Uh, shall uh, we see our Lord on the day of resurrection he said do you crowd and uh, squeeze each other and they're looking at the Sun when it is uh, hidden by clouds then replied he's uh, then uh, they replied he said do you know Allah's messenger crowd and squeeze each other on uh, looking at the moon when it's full and not hidden by clouds they replied uh, he said uh, so uh, no Allah's messenger see him your Lord on the day of resurrection similarly Allah will gather all the people and say whoever used to worship anything should uh, follow that things wonderful so now Allah uh, will be seen literally Allah will be seen so what they will see of Allah I'm going to give you option they will see his shin they will see him all of him they will see his hands what they will see it is uh, a little saying of this hadith for scholars uh, some or a lot of them said uh, we not see our Lord uh, some of them said that God uh, he will appear in uh, a shape that we uh, see him hmm. but this is not real God but he will uh, go to us in a shape that we uh, see to, to him Okay, so you are saying to me that Allah will come to you Muslims as a fake shin, fake God. But this is not the real Allah, this is a fake Allah. Are you saying that? Not fake Allah. So you, but you just said to me, you just said to me, you just said to me, but this is not Allah. I mean, everybody heard you, uh, Sheikh Rohi. You are the one who said, he will come to us, but this is not the real Allah. Didn't you say that? So this is what, the fake Allah. He will come to them, the fake Allah, and he will say, I am Allah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of madness like Why this before? I... What, do you, what are you talking about? You just said Allah will come to them, but not is him. Who will come to them? Who is the one who will come to them and he will say, I am Allah? Why I said that? Because hmm. God said in the Holy Quran, La tudrikul absar wa huwa yudrikul absar wa huwa al khabir. Then, يمكن not the our our sight our eyes can surround the God. Uh, it is the first. 
كلير فيرس ان ذا قران لا تدركه الابصار وهو يدرك الابصار ناو ترانسليش ترانسليشن ذس ايه ثواني يا بت بت ذس از مين يور بروفيت از لاين اند يو ار نوت انسرين مي يو نو فورجيت اباوت ذات فيرس نو بودي كان سي الله اوكي وي جات ذات بت يور بروفيت هير سين ذس از ان ذا دي اوف ريزركشن نوت ناو سو ان ذا دي اوف ريزركشن يو ويل سي الله اند اي اسك يو The one who will come and they will see him is that the real Allah? You said no. So now we have two Allah. One is real, one is fake. One is Santa Claus, and one real Allah. Who is the one? This is my question, Doctor Roh. You said that they will see Allah, but nobody can see the real Allah. You said, and you are the one who used the word shape. So Allah will show a shape, but this is not Him. That's what you said to me, correct? Yes. Okay. So uh, that's mean, God, that that's well, mean we have to Allah now. We have Allah the shape and we have the real Allah. So we have fake Allah and we have a real Allah. The fake Allah is the shape. So here Muhammad, the Muslim asked him, are we going to see Allah? Muhammad, he said, yes. Dr. Ruhi, he said, yes, we will see him, but we will see the fake Allah. So Muhammad is lying because they are asking him, are we going to see Allah? Not the fake Allah. Do you see in the hadith where they ask him, are we going to see the fake uh, fake Allah? No. They said to him, are we going to see our Lord? He said, yes. So if Muhammad say yes, and you say yes, but you are saying this is a fake shape, that means Muhammad is a false prophet, lying to the Muslims, saying to them, you will see Allah, but in fact, they don't see Allah. The hadith not say yes. No, it says yes. yes. No, it says yes. No, it says yes. What are you talking about? Look. He says, and this is how you will see Allah. This is how you will see. So you will see him. What do you mean, Nasser? They don't say yes. They are asking, are we going to see Allah? He said, are you going to squeeze and crowd each other to see the sun in a, in a, in a, uh, in a day where the, 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 the sky is clear? They said, no, it's very easy to see the sun. Uh, the same for the moon. And then he said to them, so... This is so you will see him. You will see him. Him who? Dr. Rohi. This is the hadith said, Hal tudaruna fi shams? Qalu hal nara rabbana yawm al-qiyama? We'll see our Lord. Qal hal tudaruna fi shams? Laysa duna ha sahab? Qalu ya Rasulullah. Thumma qal hal tudaruna fi al-qamari layla al-badr? Qalu la. Qal innakum tarawnahu kathalik. Then we see to the we look to our Lord, our that uh, such as we look to the sun. Right. So, such you, but you said you said you will see him. You it is far him. from us, my friend. From far far so, or close, it doesn't matter. If I see the sun, it is the sun. It's a close. It, it doesn't matter. You will see him. But you said something extremely dangerous, that you must then believe that there is two Allah. There's a fake Allah and there's a real Allah, and we will see the fake Allah. Is what you say? Not speak. Now, when we okay. say look to the moon, when we look to the moon, hmm. is that a real moon or look, We see. The, is that a fake moon or real moon? It is real moon. Okay. So when we see and Allah, are we, we going to see real Allah? We, and when we look at Allah, are we going uh, to see real Allah or fake Allah? Listen to me. Listen to me. Now we look to the moon, but we uh, if we. Uh, Descend and يعني نهبط in the self of the moon. We see the other thing. It is so we see thing and it is another thing. That's so we. That's deep. Doctor Rohi, what are you talking about, man? What 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 we will see other things and go deep in. I'm asking you. They will see Allah. You say this is not the same Allah. This is a shape of Allah. So now we have shape of Allah. We have Allah, and Allah. He will show them his shape and the Muslim, they will think this is Allah. So Allah is lying to the Muslims. You are saying to me that Allah, he play hide and seek. He have the real Allah and the fake Allah. The Muslim, they will see the fake Allah. And now you are saying to me, we see the moon. And then, but if we go in the moon, you will see something different. We are not going to land on Allah, my friend. This is not the question. They ask him, are you going to see Allah? He said, yes, this is how you will see him. And you said to me, and everybody heard you. That the one you will see is a fake shape of Allah. It's not the real Allah. Where do you get this from, Doctor Rohi? 
that Allah He have many sheep. Uh, because, because what uh, in the sheep, uh, God said in the hadith, فيأتيهم الله في صورته التي يعرفون. Thank you. فيأتيهم الله في صورته التي يعرفون. So the scholars. Uh, okay. So what is the shape? What is that shape? What is that shape? No, meaning suratuhu here is a condition or what his condition? Uh, quality because what equality? Allah lower his equality. What before? Feel? Okay, listen, listen. You know, Dr. Shahi, when you say something, you have to make it clear for us. Allah will come, guys, in other quality. What is that? Don't give me words which is empty. Allah will come in other quality. What he will come as a devil? He will not be in the quality of God no, no more. He will be a bad quality. He smell bad, maybe. He look look bad, maybe. What do you mean other quality? Allah is coming to them in other quality. This is what you say. So now you are saying to me, not Allah, not only you have two Allah, three Allah, fake Allah, real Allah, etc. Allah. We have many shape of Allah, and each one of them have different quality. It is uh, that uh, quality, uh, that shape fit to human human being. Thank you very much. So Allah, uh, guys, did you hear this? Did you hear what the, what Doctor Rohi he said, Sheikh Rohi from Al Azhar University? Allah will come as a man. Wonderful. Not not. Not you, you are the one who I said to me see, fit for a, a human being. You are saying to me fit for a human being. What fit for a human being mean? Is it fit for a human being as a man? Uh, so what we is? see the sun, the moon, the stars. Not uh, the sun now is fit for a human a lot being. Things. The not sun is fit for a human being now. How fit? You said to me in different quality. Is that a lower quality, higher quality? Is that shape? Is Allah? Okay, let us let us focus together. Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know. What is the shape you Muslims you know? Uh, what uh, this is meaning? What is this meaning? Hmm. The shape, uh, me, uh, yani this is a shape, I think it is uh, wrong, the trans, uh, wrong. Translation here is wrong. Suratihi, not mean his shape. But my friend, mean his my condition. Friend, you are the one who don't speak and, good and Arabic. Listen, listen, you are the one listen who don't speak good Arabic. Let me show you. Isn't it Allah who said that Allah sawara Adam ala suratihi? That's mean the shape. خلق الله آدم على صورته. صورته not not return to God, but doesn't matter. The word sura, the word sura in the Quran. Suratihi. The word sura in the Quran. The word sura in the Hadith. It's about either a, a paint or a shape. In this case, it's a shape because he's coming as a physical being. So, خلق الله آدم Allah Adam created Adam على صورته This is the word we are using, surah. So the translation is perfectly fit. Allah created Adam. Either you say in his image or you say in his shape. Which one you choose? Choose one. Okay, let me let me explain, explain uh, to you. Uh, uh, we get this in Arabic, so we hear it sometimes when we listen to the news. Uh, uh, the announcer said, "Masalan, ma suratul awdai ladaik." What's uh, what are the condition you have الأوضاع. now? Uh, now, Doctor Rohi. I, mean, I, I never heard. Do you of listen to this? Uh, I never Arabic heard. Idiom. I never heard of somebody speak Arabic saying "ma suratul awda." <laughs> Are you sure this is Arabic? No. Suratul awda. Yes, this is in the news. This what is, news is that? the news. What we, is that, my friend? Suratul awda. Announcer, announcer. My friend, what suratul awda? Ma awda na fi sura. Mumkin. Am am taqul suratul awda. Hada hada mutahik ya rajul. يا روحي شنو هذا؟ لا لا يا رجال بهدلتنا بين الاربعه هذا نحن نسمع ليسن وي دونت سي اي نيفر هيرد اوف سمبادي سيين ذات نحن نسمع هذه العبارات 
no. الاخبار نسمع لو انت تستمع الى الاخبار الى في الصورة الى في الصورة put us in the, put us in the situation the image yes. وايضا يقولون no. ما صورة الاوضاع لديك no, ما صورة الاوضاع لديك however, يعني however, however, what however. are the conditions listen, you have listen, now okay. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Okay, so let us say Allah will come to them على صورة صورة. This in this case, if it does not mean shape, it means what image, right? No, what? صورة نت. So what, 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 what it does mean? So what 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 does it mean when it says Allah He come in a صورة? Mean His condition, His condition okay, or His Allah quality will, because guys, Allah will the come in His new. condition. So that means Allah He changed His conditions. Allah is a changeable. Allah, He have, He can lower His equality. Allah, He can get rid of some His equality, and now He have different conditions. Are you saying that? No. You see the problem, Doctor Rohi, because you are scared to say. His adjective. What his adjective? What adjective? Condition or okay. his equality? Okay, you just said his yeah, equality. A second ago, I asked you, Allah, He changed His equality. You said He will come in the water equality. When I ask you, so Allah quality will change, you said no. But you are the one who said to me, Allah will change his equality. You cannot even stay with your own sentence for two minutes. So Allah will change his equality. I said to you, so Allah, he will change, he change, he, he changeable. Because when you say he changed his equality, that's mean the quality of Allah. That's mean the nature of Allah. That's mean Allah himself, he changed. Correct? Let me... Let me say to you what mm. the scholars said in this by Arabic. Al Murad Minas Sura al Sifa Al Ma'na Yadhar Lahum Min Batchilahi wa Shiddati Batsihi Malam Yalafu Walam Yatadu Min Muhammad Lahi Taala Ma'u Thumma Tatihim Bada Velika and Ma'u Rahma Wal Karama Ala Wagi Lavi Atadu Hu Alifu. No, no. هذا الكلام هذا اللي قال. No, my friend. Ibn Taymiyyah ماذا قال? Ibn Taymiyyah is an idiot. Let me prove it to you. Because when he come to them, they will say to him, you are not Allah, correct? Yes. Okay. So what, what they reject of him, they reject of him his mercy. The Muslim, they will reject Allah because he's merciful. They will say to him, you are not Allah. What's Ibn Taymiyyah said? Don't, 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 don
because they said to him we seek refuge with Allah from you is it the Quran says that when shaitan he whisper into you seek refuge by Allah right uh, that so, uh, said that this we seek refuge of you uh, hypocrites he no, the Muslims. No, 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 no. This is all, all the, the no, Muslim. Look. My friend, my friend, my friend. All the, all the people. They will say we will not follow you. All the Muslims, not only the hypocrites, not all the Muslims, and all the Muslims are hypocrite anyway. I never saw a Muslim is not hypocrite. But look here. It says, and then only this nation, i.e., Muslims, will remain, including their hypocrites. Do you see it? Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one which they know and will say I am your Lord they will say all my nation not the hypocrite alone not the Muslims part of all my nation they will say we seek refuge from Allah and nobody will talk to him from the Muslims nobody not only the hypocrite you see and nobody read carefully we they will say we seek what? refuge with Allah from you this is our place. We will not follow you. Tell our Lord come to us. And then when our Lord come to us, we will recognize him. See those are not hypocrites. Ibn Hagar. Okay. Hmm. Ibn Hagar Yaqul. Ana aqra' laka min sharh al-hadith. Wa amma qawluhum. Na'udhu billahi mink. Qala al-khattabi. Yuhtamal an takuna hadhi al-istiadha min al-munafiqina khassa. My friend, look what you said, look how funny you Muslims are. You said it's possible, the scholar, he says, it is possible that this is only about the hypocrite. It's possible. So he is not giving you confirmation. He is guessing. You Muslims, you have a religion of guessing. You cannot give an answer of anything. The hadith is so clear that the, all the Muslims, because look, it says here, nobody will talk to him except the prophets all the muslims who refuse to talk to him does it say that or no let let me come uh, let, no, let, let me ask you is it true that only the prophets will speak to him yes or no only the prophets will speak to him read yes, carefully the prophet will speak to him yeah so so that's mean all the muslims reject him not only the hypocrite you see read carefully just to show you how stupid your scholars when they say what they say to you because when it says only the prophet will talk to him that's mean everybody reject him you are not our lord I, and none, I don't listen I don't and, complete, and listen listen, I don't listen. Complete the no you did not complete no and none and none will speak to him none then but the prophets so all the Muslims will say to Allah you are not Allah why you are saying to me that this is only for the hypocrites it says none. Listen, All listen, the prophets will speak listen to Allah. Me. Hmm. Listen to me. What's Ibn Hajar said in his ex explanation? Wa qawluhum. Na'udhu billahi mink. Qala al-khattabi. Yuhtamal an takun hadhi al-istiadha min al-munafiqina khassa. Wa ankar al-qadi iyadu hadha. Wa qal. La yasih an takun qawl al-munafiqin. Wa la yastaqim al-kalam bihi. وهذا الذي قاله القاضي عياض هو الصواب ولفظ الحديث مصرح به أو ظاهر فيه وإنما استعاذوا منه لما قدمناه من كونهم رأوا سمات المخلوق انظر oh, hold on. They oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because... just destroyed Islam you said they refuse Allah because they say to him, they saw from him what is can be seen of a creature not God you said that you just said that Yes, because they, yeah, uh, come call, raw semat al makhluk, yani seem of creature. Okay, so Allah, He came to and them in a in a description of a creature. This is why they refuse Him. Because as I told you, that's, uh, come. <laughs> okay, you no, know, Rahi. You see, you have no answer, and you are going like going like you know. You know, when I talk to you, I feel like you are like a flag going with the wind, wherever the wind takes you, and you try to, to, to just to fly. Let me make it simple for you. As long as Allah, and you are the one who says to me, Ibn Taymiyyah, 
you, you try to answer about Allah, you mentioned to me about Ibn Taymiyyah. Did Ibn Taymiyyah say that Allah has a physical being? No. Are you Not sure? Physical. Yes. Yes, okay. I am sure. I will make you read from Ibn Taymiyyah and let us see how sure you are. You did read everything Ibn Taymiyyah said? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let us see. I will give you something and you can read for us. Let us see. I'm just trying to find uh, all right. Did Ibn Taymiyyah say that Allah is set on the throne? Are you there, Dr. Rohi? Yes, yes. What do you see, please? What okay. you said? Let us see what Ibn Taymiyyah he says. And I will read together. Uh, There's many books, but I'm trying just to find you. Okay. What is... Uh, Who is the one who says that Allah, he come down? Okay, let me read to you what Ibn Taymiyyah said in this hadith. No, I will, give you, I will give you this website. Let us see. The same hadith I just showed you in the beginning. Is that reported by Ibn Taymiyyah too? About Allah, he come in the third part of the night? The Prophet said this, but it is not uh, really come. And I said to you, not physical come. Okay, but Ibn, it did Ibn Taymiyyah, he says that this is not metaphorical. Did Ibn Taymiyyah say? This is say the lot. A lot to fuse, a lot saying of the scholars. There, uh, no, no, this is not, this, uh, Dr. Rahi, I want, I'm just making the question very simple. Did Ibn Taymiyyah, he says, Allah will come down from the sky and he was in the, on the steps of, of the stage and then he walked down the stage and downstairs and he says the same as I am coming down? Did he say that? Maybe he said that. Okay, but maybe, you said to me. Maybe he said. But you said to me that uh, that is metaphorical. Yourself. 
You remember when you called me in the beginning, you said to me, this is metaphorical, and Ibn Taymiyyah, he said, this is not. He was speaking in the, in the stage, and he said, Allah will come down in the third part of the night, and he walked with, down his, with his feet downstairs, and he says, and this is how Allah will go down. But you are the one who said to me that you approve Ibn Taymiyyah, and you are the one who says to me, let me show you what the scholar says about this, and this is metaphorical. Okay, so read what Ibn Taymiyyah said okay, exactly here we go. to this know what Ibn Taymiyyah said says, exactly. Uh, 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 it says here, uh, let us see what it says. Our Lord will come down in the third part of the night until the last third part, and he says, uh, who is into the, to the lowest heaven, and he says, who is going to uh, uh, supplicate to me, asking me for forgiveness, so I will forgive him. And Ibn Taymiyyah, he read that hadith, and then after that, he walked downstairs, and he says, the same as I go down. Yes or no? I, uh, this is why I'm not uh, saying of Ibn Taymiyyah, this is when the scholars uh, said that Ibn Taymiyyah, but I want so to one read of, what one Ibn of the scholars says exactly says, in, okay. from his, his books. Look, one of the scholars says Ibn Taymiyyah says that. Maybe fabrication of Ibn Taymiyyah, but I now I search in Ibn Taymiyyah. Uh, please read this in Arabic. To search in uh, Ibn Taymiyyah box. Hmm. What's it in Arabic? Uh, Let us see. Hold on. Exactly. There is many websites. I'm just trying to find something uh, authentic. Uh, not just uh, an article. Let's see. All right. Here we go. This is Al Hafiz Ibn Hajar al Asqalani, and you, mention, and you are the one who mentioned Ibn Hajar, so you cannot say you don't like him, right? He says in the book of the Durr al Kamina that the people they mentioned that Ibn Taymiyyah he said, and he was on the stage teaching that Allah will come down every night from the sky. As my coming down, and he went down from the stage down down the stairs, and he down from the stage two steps. And this is in the book of Al Hafiz Ibn Hajar, in the book of Al Durr Al Kamina, Fi Aayan Al Maa Al Thamina, volume number one, page one eighty. Okay. I read now from uh, books, uh, book of Ibn Taymiyyah, Al-Fatawi. Al-Fatawi, fi al-guz al-khamis, rub'umiyya u khamsa ta'ashar. Al-guz al-khamis, fi al-Fatawi, Ibn Taymiyyah. Mada yaqul? Yaqul, nu'min bi nuzul Allahi fi al-thuluf al-akhir min al-layli ila al-samai al-dunya, ma'aluwihi ala khalqi, wa anna al-samawat la tuzilluhu wa la tuqilluhu, muhiitun bi khalqihi wa la yuhiitu bihi shay'un, ونسكت كما سكت الصحابة فلا نقول هل خلا من العرش أم لا وصوب شيخ الإسلام أنه لا يخلو قال الصواب المأثور عن سلف الأمة وأمتها أنه لا يزال فوق العرش ولا يخلو okay. العرش منه مع دنوه ونزوله إلى السماء so saying, ولا يكون let, العرش فوقه let, let us translate, let us translate. So you are saying to me, Allah, he come down in the top of his throne as if it's a car. 
But you just admitted that Ibn Taymiyyah said that Allah will come down. You just said, we believe that Allah will come down from his heaven. Yes or no? Did Ibn Taymiyyah say that? No, you don't uh, understand what I said. No, I understand. You just said that. You just said, Did you say that? But uh, so, complete. Okay, so what? So, uh, so Allah will come down, but, will say, he, but still, He will be high. For sure, He will be high. I mean, it says He will be in the lowest heaven. Still, He is higher. This is what He said. So, Allah will come down. But still he is higher than his creature. So what? And I don't care. But Allah will come down. But in the beginning mm -hmm. you said to me okay. that this is metaphorical. But Ibn Taymiyyah now he got you busted. He just said we believe that Allah will come down literally. Not metaphorically. No, no. So what, what he say also? وَلَيْسَ نُزُولُهُ كَنُزُولِ أَجْسَامِ بَنِي آدَمِ مِنَ الصَّطْحِ إِلَى الْأَرْضِ بِحَيْثُ يَبْقَى السَّوْقُ فَوْقَهُمْ بَلِ اللَّهُ مُنَزَّلُ مُنَزَّهٌ عَنْ ذَلِكَ My friend, because your scholar is not smart, I don't want to use the word stupid. He just said that Muhammad is a liar. Let me show you why. Because he say, if he say that Allah have no roof uh, uh, on the top of him, well, your prophet, he says, Allah above him, there is air underneath of him is here. Let me show you, there is air. Let me show, show you. <laughs> your scholars they do not know what is written in their books isn't it this is your God saying that do you see in the top of Allah there is air underneath of Allah there is hay, there is air this is your prophet your prophet saying that where 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 he said that okay here we go this is Ibn, uh, uh, Ibn Majah, hadith number 182. He said, he was above the cloud below which was air and above which was air and water. And when he agree, your scholar that Allah, he come down. I mean, isn't it obvious when you say he come down that he come down and where he will come down? He will come inside his creation. And isn't it your prophet? He says he will come down to the lowest heaven. He hang up. Guys, the hadith says Allah will come down to the lowest heaven. That's the location. So how Allah will come to the lowest heaven without going through the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven? <laughs> <laughs> it says here he will come look 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 how they try to fabricate in the beginning he said this is metaphorical right after he called me and then he trapped himself he called for me as scholar we spoke about what this scholar he said and then he admitted that the scholar says that Allah he come down but he don't come like a human I don't care if he come like a human or not <laughs> he come down and he come down where he come down to a location it's not the location walking to Allah it is Allah going down it says it clearly he would descend down he would descend you know what descend mean he's failing down he come every night down so here we have what is involved time and location so that's mean Allah is moving physically. Secondly, your God, which you Muslim, you have no idea who's he, and this is the whole topic, and nobody can answer us. He moved inside his creation. When we ask Dr. Rohi about the tree, he says, Allah created voice. This is not Allah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, the Muslims are really funny, cute, very cute, very cute uh, religion. If, if those are the sheikhs, what do you expect from the ones who do not know what they are talking about? Hmm? It says come down. And the Muslim, by the way, I mean this guy, the scholar, he come with this fabrication from where? Allah. He come down, but not like other. Who? What are you talking about? First of all, your prophet. He says he come down. That's it. He come down. 
even your prophet himself he did not say he come down without he come down but there's no way his chair is in the top of him like what the heck <laughs> you are worried now about his chair <laughs> okay brother he will take the chair with him are you happy Allah will put his chair in the couch on the couch he will put it in the truck he will go down are you happy now look at this stupid philosophy because they have no idea what they are talking about and it's they start their best to make like a, a, a jelly like, like a jellyfish you know a jellyfish there's a lot of uh, plasma around so they try to cover Allah by the plasma to make him his holy his big but even their prophet he did not say what they are saying where you get this is from and who care if he come down with a chair or without the chair this is the problem and then he says to me nothing is above Allah and the, the prophet the, the prophet of Islam says no other is there's things above Allah Allah is swimming in the top of him there is air and underneath of him there is an air Always when I speak to Muslims, I feel like I'm talking to a kid, somebody in the first grade, who is trying his best to say to me that the, the, the candy I have is not like any candy. This is what the Muslims have. They have a candy, claiming that it's different from any candy. But they do not understand what this candy is about, and they, they never saw the candy. Dr. Rohi himself, we ask, I ask him, what the word Allah mean? Who is the first one said it? He says it's an Arab guy, we do not know who. We believe it. They don't even know what the word Allah mean. Who is going to believe in such a madness religion? Not only boys and sex and private part and boom boom and fictions, flying carpet. In the top of that, they do not even know who is their God. And the tree said to Moses, I am your God Allah. This guy, he answers, says, Oh, this is a fake voice of Allah. This is not the real voice of Allah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> hey Randy, how are you? Good to have you, my friend. See, this is the good thing about being here in the internet. The Lord always bless us to have people from around the world. And we have here Randy from the Philippines saying hello. Say hello, everybody, to Randy. Filipino people are very wonderful people. I really love them. Very beautiful people. Uh, <clears throat> and here we have a lot of people from Indonesia too. So the Lord, he blessed us with a lot of Christians from Asia. Wonderful people. Uh, any Abdul? Uh, Dr. Rohi is calling back. <laughs> I think he requested some help maybe. <laughs> Yes, Dr. Rohi. In my friend, connection was... Uh, my friend, this is what happened uh, when you use the internet of the neighbor, Dr. Rohi. Come on. <laughs> no, no, it is my, but uh, there is a problem. Right, right. The problem Most that Allah is weak, my friend. So listen to, the, to me. Allah, he come down with his throne. He don't come no, no. like a human. As hadith, my, friend. Uh, my friend, as this hadith, can Allah fi ama it is weak hadith. All scholars, my friend, no. Here we go. It says, it says, it says, Hassan. Was a ha 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 ha
No, no, no. What do you mean? No, no, no. Where, it's in the screen. Is this is the Euromuslim Euro Muslim website. It says Hassan. <laughs> I don't. I don't uh, now. And uh, I'm not on uh, YouTube. My friend, I will give you the link. All the scholars. I will give you the link. All no, the scholars. Is, this is not true. This is not true. But you must think anything, anything. You, you, it's embarrassing. You say it is weak. <laughs> no, no, it is hadith weak. Can Allah fi ama fawqah hawa wa tahta hawa? Let me ask you. Is Allah? Is Allah? No, it's not weak. I just showed the proof. Uh, let me ask you. Is Allah is above the throne or he's under the throne? He above the, uh, the throne. Okay, as the long throne. he is above, that means he's above. The second you say is above, that means Allah is located in the top of a chair. Do you agree? What meaning of located? And I don't know. You are the one who says to me he's above. I ask you, is he above the chair or under the chair? You said above. Now you do not know what located mean. You just locate Allah. You, you located Allah. You said Allah is at in the top of the chair. Located the do you physical? Well, is, is the chair physical or it's a metaphorical? We you don't know exactly. What do you mean you do not know? Uh, what do you mean you do not know, uh, Dr. Rohi? Why Muslims they don't know anything? This is what I keep saying to them. The second you ask them embarrassing question, they say they don't know. If you are speaking to a guy who's an American, I'm sure you know. But talking to me, the answer is no. Do you know the Quran says that even there's a th eight goats, mountain goats, will carry the throne of Allah? Is that correct? What I don't understand you. How many goats they will carry the throne of Allah? You are saying, I ask you, is the throne of Allah is physical? You said, I do not know. How you say, I do not know, when the Quran says that there's eight will carry, eight mountain goats will carry the, the, the throne of Allah. Quran said that? Yeah. Goat can uh, carry the uh, throne of God? Yes. Where? Where this chapter 69 verse number Quran 17 said, angel eight angels no carry no no say it to me please hmm. read the chapter 69 verse number 17 <clears throat> The angels are around the throne, and the one is carrying the throne is eight mountain goats. Are you there? Yes, yes. I. وَيَحْمِلُ عَرْشَ رَبِّكَ فَوْقَهُمْ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ ثَمَانِيَ. Okay, who are those eight who carry the throne of Allah? First of all, you said to me that the throne of Allah is metaphorical. How he is metaphorical? But there is eight carrying the throne. Eight angels. Eight not angels. Goat. What if who I said prove? Goat? Okay, what what I prove to you that they are goats. For uh, proof to me from mm. where from hadith or Quran, I, 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 leave that to me. I mean, Christian Prince, he can prove it from anywhere. Who care? No, no, if you want to prove me, give me hadith, true hadith, or the Quran said that. Okay, let us see. Because Quran said, and the angel he carried the throne of God. Let us see. All right. This is the hadith says. They are speaking about where Allah, Allah is above, etc. Allah is above, Allah is above, blah, 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 blah. And then they said, and then above the seven heaven, there is a sea. The distance between 
who is surface and the bottom is like the the, the uh, between one heaven and the next above that there is eight mountain goats the distance between those hoofs or whose hoofs and hunches is like the distance between the heaven and the next then Allah the blessed the exalted is above that can you send me the hadith please yeah, sure can you send me the link yeah. <clears throat> no problem <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> you send it? There we go. Well then. <clears throat> no, hold, uh, I don't know if you can open the link. It's very long. Is it? Uh, is it long to open? Click on it. Yes. Yes. Yes, uh, I uh, try to open it, please. No, it is error. It is error. It's error. Okay. Can you read the hadith in Arabic? Okay, no problem. Read in hadith no in Arabic. Problem. Let's say it. The hadith is long, so I will read at the end. ثم فوق ذلك ثمانية أوعال بين أضلافهم وركبهم مثل ما بين السماء إلى السماء ثم على ظهورهم العرش ثم الله تبارك وتعالى فوق ذلك reference four seven two three four seven two five It is uh, not in hadith, it is in uh, some saying in tafsir. Qul wa an al Abbas qawlihi ta'ala wa yahmilu arsha rabbika fawqahum yawma idhin thamaniya thamaniya ta'awal ma bayna rukabihim ila avlafihim masiratu khamsa mi'ati aam ila akhir al-kalam. Okay. Uh, so let, 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 let's take a short. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, let us go with you. Let, let so me, they are eight angels. Okay, let me... Eight let, angels. Let I will go with you. There are the eight hadith, angels. Please. The angels are carrying the throne of Allah, which is metaphorical or it is physical. Let me complete the hadith, please. يقول رواه أبو داود والترمذي وابن ماجا وقال حديث حسن غريب. حسن. حديث حن غريب. الحديث الغريب لا يؤخذ. هذا حديث ليس صحيح. So why you are saying حسن? حديث غريب. So why you call it حسن? حسن mean what? حسن mean good. <laughs> so you call it good no, and then you no, say غريب. It's, حسن. حسن. It's, حسن good. it's good حسن غريب. Okay, حسن. Friend, you just said you see a second ago I showed you a hadith which says Hassan you reject it you said it's daif when I said to you the hadith about Allah have air above him and they are underneath of him you said this is daif I showed everybody that this is Hassan and now you are in this hadith I gave you. He said to me, Hassan, and you add to it, Gharib. Forget about this. All. No, no, uh, no problem. No problem. Let us, let us finish this game. So, the, the, the throne of Allah, Hassan. listen, hadith, the throne of Allah, I, the throne I, I of said, Allah, no, okay. No, no. okay, hold on, hold on, please. The throne uh, of Allah, I see Dr. Rahi, the throne of Allah is created by eight angels, according to you, correct. Is it true that those angels send, they have? I send you the have, link. I is send it true the that link those of this hadith, my hadith friend, daif. No problem. Hadith daif. Is it true that those please, angels? Please open. Please I, open you are uh, the, the one link. who just showed me Hassan Gharib, and now you are saying daif. You Muslims are confused. Is it Hassan Gharib or daif? Secondly, no. the second you say is daif, that means it's accepted because daif hadith is not rejected. El, El Albani said this daif. Okay. This daif. The Albani says daif. Do you accept what the Albani said? Yes, in this hadith I said. No, no, no. I'm asking Al -Bani. you, do you accept the Alabani to be a reference for you? You say yes or no? No, not all. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alabani is something to witness for, but Al when we want, Alabani is an idiot when we want. Either you say yes, he is good all the time, or then they don't take the Alabani. So, why you are taking the Alabani now? Because it just, uh, he said, Daif. <laughs> and isn't it Ibn Majah is one of the Sahih Hadith books? 
Isn't it the Sahih? His six books. Okay. So how Ibn Majah suddenly became daif? The Sahih books is six books. Albani is, 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 is who sure. is who is higher? Who is higher? Ibn Majah or Al Albani who died just a few years ago? Not all in the Ibn Majah is uh, true. My friend. Not all hadith. So why you call his book Sahih? This is Sahih Ibn Majah, Sahih Al-Turmudi, Sahih Al-Bukhari. All of them they are Sahih. Yet what is inside is not Sahih. Now forget about this. Not said Sahih. We are wasting our we time. We not said Sahih. It is Sahih. We not said Sahih. It is Sahih. No, no. This we is said Sunan. Okay. Sunan. Uh, let, uh, no, 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 hold on. I can show everybody in two seconds that all Muslim Sunni agree that the books of authentic hadith are six books. Do you agree or not? No. Okay, let me show it in the screen. No. Hold on, give me a second. Is the guys, he said no. Okay. This guy supposedly is an imam, Sheikh. I'm not being rude with you, Dr. Rahi, but uh, forgive me, I have to say that. You know, you said that no, and I will show everybody that is not true. Muslims Sunni believe in six authentic books of hadith. It's called Sahih. Al Sihah I will show it in Arabic, and I will show it in English. <laughs> Who said this? Saying? You are really funny. Who said this? Saying? <laughs> Who said this? Saying, my friend. Okay. Asihah Sunnah, Asihah Sitta, hold on. Let us see. <laughs> Do you know what Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Majah uh, called his book? Hold on. He called Sunan Ibn Majah. I know Sunan. what he called him, but you must then consider it as authentic. The... Sunan Ibn Majah. All right. I just search in Google and look what came in my face right away. Okay. Okay. Kutub, okay. Kutub al Sitta, the six books of Hadith. Are they authentic? Let us see if they are. What the Muslims yes. say about Al Kutub al Sitta, Al Kutub al Sitta, but no, they are Kutub al Sahiha. They are, Kutub no, they, are, Kutub al no, they are authentic. Here we go. They are the six authentic. Sahih but, Sitta, but, but mine, mine, my mine, friend, mine, read, the six authentic books of Hadith. Number one. No, who who uh, called as Sahih Sitta? Who who? All of you Muslim Sunni, you call it as Sahih Sitta. I learned no, in no. university. Who named? You know, you know that the Rohi, my teacher is my teacher. Is they are their beard was bigger than the beard of your of, of your higher scholar in in the Azhar University, and they never called them except as Sahih Sitta. Your teacher is wrong. Your teacher is wrong, my friend. My friend, they are big Not shakes, Sahih and they Sitta. are they knew what they are talking about, and all Muslim Sunni here, you are just playing a game. You are not being honest. Asihahu Sitta, everybody knows them. Al Bukhari, Muslim, and Nasai, Abu Dawood, Al Turmudi, and Ibn Majah. And now you do not know? And this is your Muslim website saying, not, yes, there are six authentic books of hadith. In... My friend, let us go, let us go, let us go, let us go. Now, let's go here. You said that eight angels will carry Allah throne. Why they are carrying Allah throne if it's not real? Because uh, God used the angel to do anything in the world. But you said it's not so, real. Is, is the throne of Allah is real or it's metaphorical? Is it a chair? Not. We don't know how they carry him. We when we said not now, the question. Not the, the question. Sky this, is, is, this is not the question. The chair. Is it a real chair or not? Not really chair. Not, okay, we the don't guys, know really chair. So how it is not really chair? <laughs> how it is not really chair? But yet they will carry the chair. And how it have borders? It says in the at the edges of the chair. So it is not a chair, but eight angels will carry the chairs according to you. They will carry what? They are acting. You. You must learn the metaphor in Arabic. My friend, friend this is not when metaphorical. Said, because I ask you, where is Allah? You said he is above the throne. 
Did you say no. it's metaphorical? Because no, if it's metaphorical, there's no need to say above. You are the one who said it's above. Did you say above or no? No, الملك ثبت كرسيه This is not that question. I هل asked you. Maksud? I asked no, no, no. you. Is I Allah would, above? I want to. Uh, is Allah, this is not the question. Is Allah is above the throne or he is not above the throne? Above the, thro the okay. throne. Okay. So the second you say above the throne, that means the throne must be a physical throne, because there is no no way to say above the throne if there is no throne, because metaphorical throne. This means this means there is no throne. When you say metaphorical, that means it's not exist. It's not real. It's metaphorical. It's symbolic for his authority, symbolic for his power, etc. But you are the one saying he is above the throne. So as long he is above the throne, that means the throne must be real. And as long he is carried by eight angels, that means those angels, they are carrying a real throne. And now, is those angels are animals or they are real angels? Is it true that those angels they have four faces each one of them and they have faces of animals? This no, is no, I, I said to you it is it is a uh, hadith life. It is life. I friend, you are the you. one who mentioned to me Ibn Abbas before so you accept Ibn Abbas and this is Ibn Abbas He says the angels will be in the side of the throne it's an uh, uh, extreme extreme uh, sides different directions and part and eight he says eight different angels each one of them has four different faces a face of a, a human a face of an eagle a face of a lion a face of a bull is that correct uh, my friend you must know how to read the interpretations because the interpretations contains wheat and the chaff so you must clear to sift the wheat from what the chaff what interpretation the chaff, you accept okay? let's get it short what interpretation you accept and i will read it what scholar give me a real scholar not don't give me those puppies who you know they go in the internet today and they claim to be scholars who is a scholar you accept his interpretation for this chapter uh, I accept not I, I I am not accept all the interpretation, but I am you don't just accept all the interpretation or choose you abnormal opinions what which opinion? harm my the friend, prophet. I also choose friend. the opinions that praise the prophet peace be upon. Okay, support what okay. you say is that this is metaphorical from your prophet statement. Go ahead. Because God not uh, no, no 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 you just say you just said you just said I go by the prophet opinion about this topic show me the prophet opinion about this topic the prophet not said because the God but, said, but a second uh, ago you said to me he say lay second mystery he say friend I nothing like me too so what and nothing like you and nothing like my phone and nothing like the, and, and everything is in, in this earth is, is different what, the, what does that mean so here's this the, the cat every cat so nothing like it does that mean the cat is God what does this have to do with the question I'm asking you that Allah throne Allah and you said to me Allah is above the throne the second you say above okay let me ask you do you Muslim agree that Allah is above the heaven Yes. Okay. Is the heaven is up or down? He may up or he down. The you, 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 it's okay. But you just said to me, Allah is above the heaven. How the heaven can be above it if if there is many up? <laughs> How Allah can be above yeah. something? <laughs> but this thing is not a flat. So when you Muslim, you say is Allah is above. Above where? God, what uh, God in the Quran? Okay. No, the God of the Quran, the God of the Quran said that there is seven heavens, correct? There is seven heavens, yes or no? Yes, yeah, okay. there, there are seven heavens. Thank you very much. So as long as there is seven heavens, that means Allah is above the seven heavens, correct or not? 
Yes, he above the world. Is the, above the, is, the, is the seven heaven? If the, is the seven heaven occupy space and shape? Yes. Okay, that's mean Allah is above a space and shape. That's mean Allah located in a location. Is Allah, is Allah live in the seven heaven, close to the house of Al Ma'mur? Al Bayt Al Ma'mur. What is the Al Bayt Al Ma'mur? Al Bayt Al Ma'mur. He is the. Uh... He is the place in mm. the sky mm. said Al Bayt Al Ma'mur. Mm. What is that? But it is not uh, a house or Bayt Al Ma'mur like our house. Mm. It's what? You must uh, know. It's what? It says Bayt. Bayt means house. Like what? It's what? It says, as I know, that this is a house where 70,000 angels they go inside it every day, correct? البيت المعمور المقصود هو البيت الحرام البيت المعمور والبيت لذلك قال في القرآن والبيت المعمور بيت الحرام الله الله هذا كعبة ذي الله هذا كعبة not in the heaven what what tour what said God said well our بيت المعمور هو يقسم بالبيت المعمور والبيت المعمور القصد به ذا كعبة ذا heaven in the not not in the uh, not in the heaven okay let's see if this is true let us see if this is true or not here we go this is your prophet and this is Sahih Muslim is speaking about going up to the heaven and in there he found al baytul ma'mur I don't know where you got your degree from Dr. Rahi Al Azhar University is a very weak school. I, I, I advise you to change your school. Al Baytul Ma'mur is not the Kaaba. As you see, this is in above the seven heaven, and this is where Allah He lived next to it. And there is 70, or He lived inside it, and there is 70,000 angels go inside it every day. But you said a second ago, you said to me, this is the Kaaba. <clears throat> now say <so> now <laughs> well bait al ma'mur what said Ibn Kathir what Ibn Kathir said this is your uh, prophet no. hold on <laughs> Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Kathir <laughs> Ibn Ibn Kathir he cannot say against this what's wrong with you Muslims I'm showing you what your prophet saying you are saying to me that as me you are not even they are not even respecting your prophet Ibn Kathir, by the way, agree with me, but this is not the point you are saying to me. My prophet must be wrong because the one who says that is your prophet. He is saying he found that he found the, the Nile and the Euphrates in the house of Allah. <laughs> hey, Dr. Rohi, you are from Egypt, right? Yes. Okay. Is the Nile in the heaven of Allah or it is in your country, my friend? Nile River. Yes. So how Muhammad is saying, he found Niver and Euphrates, the Niver in Egypt, and in Sudan, in Ethiopia, uh, you know, in, in uh, uh, many countries, and Euphrates is goes to Turkey, uh, Syria, Iraq. How Muhammad he claimed that he saw the Nile River, Euphrates, and Al Bayt Al Ma'mur in the seven heaven. But yet Al Bayt Al Ma'mur is Mecca, according to you. And Nile River is next door to you. How this happen? Let me uh, read from the tafsir of uh, this uh, first. Okay. Qurtub qal wal bayt al ma'mur kulhu ta'al wal bayt al ma'mur qala Ali wa Ibn Abbas wa ghayruhum huwa bayt fi al sana hiyal al Kaaba yadkhulu kull yawm sab'una alf malak. See. It's not the Kaaba. It is not the Kaaba. It's a house in the sky. But you are a sheikh who have a PhD. You say to me, no, this is not in the sky. This is the Kaaba. You just said to me, Beethoven is the man. Let, uh, let me uh, complete the tafsir. Mm, complete. Okay. <coughs> okay. 
وحكى القشيري عن ابن عباس انه في السماء الدنيا قال بكر سكل سأل ابن الكواء علي رضي الله عنه قال فما البيت المعمور قال بيت فوق السماوات تحت العرش وقال له الضراح وكذا في الصحاح الى اخره قال المهدوي اه اوكي My friend, just it's okay. I will forgive you. So the bait al ma'am. Qala al-hasan al no no no. My friend, my friend. Qala al-hasan al-bait al ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. The bait al-haram al-ladhi huwa ma'amur min al-nas. This is what the same by al-hasan. This is stupid. Your prophet. The bait al ma'amur huwa ka'ab. Your prophet is saying that. The bait al-haram al-ladhi huwa ma'amur min al-nas. Hold on. Which one you accept? This is in. Which one you accept? Which one you accept? Which one you accept? Which one you accept? Hold on. Your prophet saying he went to the seventh heaven and he found the Bait al-Ma'mur there or someone says to you the Bait al-Ma'mur is down in earth. Which one you accept? The prophet or that guy? It is no problem if they... Uh, no, it's a problem. Is. No, it's a problem that when you listen, you don't listen to Muhammad and Muhammad says he found the Bait al-Ma'mur in the seventh heaven. For me, Obviously, you Muslims, you have no idea what I'm talking about. This is a missed up religion. Every one of you have different opinion. When the fact is in the front of you, it's clear. Muhammad, he went to the seventh heaven, and in paradise, this is during the time he's condemned to paradise, supposedly, he found rivers, which obviously Muhammad is lying here because there's no way he found the Nile River, and you pretty there. In the top of that, the most important for us in our topic, there is a house for Allah there, and there are 7,000 angels. They enter the house of Allah every day. Is Allah is inside the house? That house in heaven? No, no, it is not. So why the angels are getting inside this house? Why the angels are getting inside this house 70,000 angels every day in the heaven? What this house is about? Okay, we talk about this topic another time because okay. now I want to go. All right. It's the <laughs> little bit of a friend. Thank you. We, okay, thank, thank you. you for coming we talk uh, another time. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Take care. <laughs> the, voice, <coughs> the voice is bad. I don't know what's happening. Why? Not sure. Uh, okay, let me. Maybe the internet is getting weaker. Anyway, guys, we have we are done for today, and uh, later you can cut the video and uh, download it and share it. As you see, Muslims they have no idea. Bad voice. Is it bad voice for everybody? <coughs> Maybe the voice bad from his voice was? <coughs> okay. <coughs> anyway, as you see, those are their shakes. They have to fabricate as much as they can, try and avoid anything. After speaking to Dr. Rohi for more than an hour or two, but we got nothing. Each time he says something, we find it's his faults from their books. And the funny he says, Allah is not Allah. Allah, he have a shape, but this is not the shape of Allah. <laughs> Allah, he, he has lowered his equality. <laughs> Allah he spoke from the tree, but this is a voice Allah created. This is not the voice of Allah. The tree is Allah, but it was not Allah. I mean, it's a madness. What do you expect? So thank you for being here, guys. I'm getting tired. My voice is gone. And uh, uh, if there is any of you, he knows how to do a good uh, uh, video, uh, uh, intro video for my other channel, uh, contact me in Skype, please, so you can help me to create that intro. This uh, another channel, channel we will know maybe in, in, in a day or two from now, and it's going to be for a totally different topic, and everybody is welcome to subscribe. So I hope maybe by tomorrow, if I go live here, I will tell you which channel I will use, so you can subscribe there. And that channel I will use when I am away <clears throat> in my coming trip. Uh, so I will post videos uh, about my trip, and you know, we will speak about many things. 
so if you like to follow my news you will go to that channel so until I see you again may the Lord bless you all if you'd like to learn more and to read more about the cult of Islam which as you see can cannot answer us all what all what the difficulty is in Islam if Muslims speak to someone who knows then you will see Islam is very silly cult if you speak to them Muslims they will give you a million answer but those answers will not work with me all their answers is fabricated and we prove it here every day thank you for being here Read my books you can get them from Amazon and if you like to follow me uh, and to to uh, to be updated about uh, the videos because we delete them always you can subscribe to patreon website so you can be updated with the new links because they update the links for the videos there Christ is Lord and Islam is false and see you soon take care